Anyways, going further, so corollary or uh, or a theorem that follows another one. So two non-zero vectors a and b are parallel if and only if you know, their cross products equals to zero. So a cross b equals to zero, or the uh, zero vector like that. And again, this uh, corresponds to this sign right here. Because so when you know, when sine is zero or sine is pi or one eighty degrees. Uh, that becomes zero, so this whole thing becomes zero, and in other words, it has to be parallel, and we will uh, illustrate that soon. And yeah, here, we'll look at the proof of this. So two non-zero vectors a and b are parallel if and only if uh, theta is equal to zero, or pi radians, uh, or 180 degrees. In either case, sine theta is equal to zero, so a cross b is equal to zero, and therefore, a, yeah, or the distance, I mean, this is the distance. Uh, the distance equals zero, and therefore a cross b is equal to zero. So in other words, this right here uh, has to equal zero. So let's write this here. I'll, I'll just, uh, first of all, graph this out. If you have a vector a, like this, say you have a, and then uh, let's say you have a, and then you have a vector b, if it's parallel, this angle is, well, this theta is, uh, I'll put that at theta like this, theta is equal to zero. This is B, so it's parallel. And uh, but if you uh, otherwise the other way to get it uh, parallel is if it goes here, which is a perfect ninety degrees. So let's say you have instead of that, let's say you had B over here. This is uh, pi. This theta is equal to pi radians like that. So in either case, let's put this scroll back here. Yeah, zero. Yeah, so this basically zero there. So what we get is um, the distance a cross b is equal to uh, length of a times length of b, and then sine sine zero. I'll put a zero or pi. In either way, it's going to be equal to zero. Zero or pi equals to well, yeah. This whole thing has become zero. It just becomes made it for completeness. Length of a times length of b times zero, which equals to zero. So then, if it's if the length is zero, the cross product is going to be all zero. The only way you can get a length of zero uh, of a cross product uh, of a vector is if the vector is a zero vector. You can't have a, uh, you can't have it pointing out somewhere and then having a length not zero. You can't. Uh, do that. I mean, you can't have it pointing out somewhere, and the length equals zero. You can't do that. Zero means it's not pointing anywhere. <laughs> this equals to uh, zero. The zero vector. So yes, and that's the corollary from this theorem here. So if they're parallel like this, because remember this is parallel, uh, this b is parallel with this. I'll make this a bit uh, better, like that. This is parallel as well. Yeah, these are all parallel together. 